great relief to Susie, the much needed answer. She express, expressed her joy through the way she played with her son, running behind him, teasing and irritating, imitating him. Otherwise, everything went on mechanically at home without any emotions caused by her tensions and worries. She felt once again as though the life was showering some kindness on her. The next day, while waiting in the lobby for her turn to be called, Susie began to build castles in the air. Shortly, she was called to Dr. Sijit's cabin. After going through the documents and reports of her husband, he gave her a suspicious look, followed by a comment. It is not a simple surgery as I had expected. It will cost you a lot and I can't afford to do it for free, said Dr. Sweet. Doctor, please don't say that. I have come here with full hope and my boss had guaranteed that you would do this for me for free. Now please don't disappoint me, pleaded Susie. After a few minutes discussion, Dr. Sijit gave a solution. I can convince my brother about the expenditure and the risk involved in this. I am sure he will understand. But why should I do such an expensive surgery for your husband for free? There is one solution. It is a deal. If you cooperate with me, I can take the risk. He said the last sentence in much lower voice. Susie stared at him. I didn't get you, doctor. What did you mean by my cooperation? She said in a, she had a blank look on her face. Dr. Sijit picked up at her and then down a few times and finally settled in paying with his spherical paper on paperweight. If you can spend an evening with me, I will be satisfied, he said softly with a wicked smile without looking at her. His demand came as a shocking blow to her. Infuriated, Susie at once grabbed her husband's papers from the table with trembling hands and got up to leave the room. How cruel you are taking advantage of a helpless woman, she said as she rushed to the door. Think again whether you want your husband's eyesight back or not. Here is my number. You can call me if you need. She had a voice at the back. Susie wanted to cry out, expressing her inability as a helpless wife to get back to her husband's vision. But soon she realized that she was on the road walking towards the bus stop. Mechanically, she got into the bus, paid for the ticket and sat in a window seat. She was in a turmoil as she tried to imagine what lay before her. She had no idea what she should do or with whom she should share her problem. Electricity boat, so the conductor said loudly when the bus stopped after some time. Only then Susie realized that she had reached the stop to get down. She walked slowly towards her home through the narrow and crowded road with a heavy mind and wondered how to face Arun and what she should tell him. Though Arun couldn't see her, he recognized her presence and wondered why she was not telling him anything after meeting the doctor. So, are you not well? he asked, but did not see her tearful eyes. I am having a bad headache and I want to rest for some time, she managed to utter. Okay, lie down for some time. You must be exhausted. He moved away. What happened to her now? Did the doctor not agree to operate on me? Or was he not available today? Too many questions mushroomed in his mind. But he didn't want to ask her anything now and waited for her to be free and talk to him on her own. Susie didn't get a wink of sleep that night. There was a great battle going on in her mind. She decided to tell her boss about his brother's demand, but suddenly realized that he has already left for Germany. Should Arun get a uh, uh, sight at the cost of her chastity, should, be, should she mention this to Arun? No, he, he would never um, prefer to, he would rather prefer to continue the present life than losing his wife's purity. Then another thought shuddered her. If at all the operation takes place, the vicious doctor can kill my husband to show his grudge and can say it was an accident. Oh God, why are you testing me like this? She cried silently, unable to share her sorrow with anyone. The next day in the office, she took the visiting card and stared at it for a while and decided to beg him once again. At that very moment, she got a call from Dr. Srijit. He didn't... You didn't take the card with my number I gave you, so I presume you don't want the surgery happen. And I want to let you know that you can look elsewhere for help. He just banged the phone without waiting for her response. Susie called him back. Doctor, please help my husband. Please do this favor for us. Please. 
I assure you that we will pay you back your fee with interest every month without fail. I have already told you about the deal. Don't waste my time. Dr. Sijit banged the phone down and laughed. Arun was very ill-tempered at home. All his hopes were shattered. Susie hasn't told him that his operation would not take place in the near future, but he guessed it. He didn't want to ask her for the The doctor is waiting for a special instrument required for the surgery. He doesn't know how long it will take. Once it comes, he will let us know and fix the date of the surgery, said Susie after three thoughtful days without looking at her husband.